Uh, this is Jeff Cohen from Insightful. This is a very quick video tutorial to demonstrate how each of the nine quiz question types in member press courses works. It's a little demo quiz that I created. The first type is multiple choice. What's the capital of Connecticut? Well, I know it's not C. That's a wise a guy answer. I'm going to I'm going to say it's Bridgeport. By the way, I'm going to add a lot of wrong answers here for on purpose. Uh, question type two, multiple answer. This is where you're looking for as many as are, 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 as are correct. New Haven, yeah. Bridgeport, yep. Yeah. I'm going to say Springfield. I know it's wrong. And I'm going to say Atlanta. I'm leaving out Hartford. Okay, next. Third type is true or false. True or false, West Hartford is considered the insurance capital of the United States. I'm going to say true. I know it's false. I'm from Connecticut. Short answer. Name three places of interest in Hartford, Connecticut. Okay, let me add those. Jeff's birthplace, Mark Twain House, Cigna Insurance. Question type four, essay. Why was Mark Twain so prolific during his 17 years living in Hartford, Connecticut? Let's see. I'm just gonna enter anything at all. There's a whole bunch of lorem ipsum. Quiz question type five, fill in the blanks. Well, this is gonna be interesting. In the late 1960s and early 70s, Hartford had a professional football team called the Hartford Knights and their home was their home field was Yankee Stadium. Sort the values. Quiz question type seven. Sort the values. Sort these cities in order by closeness to Hartford, Connecticut. Okay, well I'm gonna say West Hartford, that's kind of easy. West Hartford is first. Yeah, Boston. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like this. Honolulu and Los Angeles. Kinda know I'm wrong. Quiz Question type number eight, match matrix. Match each Connecticut city on the left to a landmark from the drop down in the column to the right. Hartford. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say Mark Twain's house. New Haven. Yale University. Danbury. Federal Prison. Windsor. Loomis Chafee School and Middletown. Home of Jeff's maternal grandparents. Fondly Likert scale. How does Mark Twain rank among your favorite authors? I'm going to say he's my fave. I'm going to submit, and now we're going to get my answers shown, and the correct answers will be will be included. Uh, correct answer, Hartford, the capital. It's not Bridgeport. Multiple answer, which of the following cities are in Connecticut? Well, I got two right, but I left out Hartford. True or false? Was Hartford the insurance capital of the United States? Nope, that's, uh, that's Hartford. Short answer. Name three places of interest in Hartford, Connecticut. Now, note, I got credit for that. Nobody knows whether that's correct or not, but that, that this is because the short answer question type is indeterminate. There's no way to determine whether an answer is correct or not. That's the same with essay. I put in a whole bunch of lorem ipsum, and I got a check mark. It, I was marked. Question type number six, fill in the blanks. I said it was the Hartford Knights and their home team, their home field was Yankee Stadium. Notice I did not capitalize the K in Knights. And contrary to the official documentation on the member press site, fill in the blanks, answers are not case sensitive. So I got Knights right, but I got Yankee wrong. I got the Dillon Stadium wrong. Finally, I know, number seven, sort the values. Yep, I got Hartford and Boston right, but I had Honolulu and Los Angeles wrong. Match matrix, look at that. Got everything right there. And finally, the Likert scale. Now, this is object. This is subjective, totally subjective. It's an opinion. Um, how does Mark Twain rank among your favorite authors? I got credit for that question. Again, it's an indeterminate type. So this is an overview of the different types of quiz question types in MemberPress. And it's important to understand what their limitations and capabilities are so that you use them in the right contexts.